right so student let us solve one more numerical right uh, now uh, radius ratio we have done numericals the possible numerical in radius ratio and i'll be do gradually going into the edge length numericals which will also include density numericals let us come back and read the length of the unit cell h of a bcc metal crystal is 352 picometer calculate the radius of an atom of the metal okay this is the question given but there is one clue given to me that is bcc metal this is what is given to me so be careful as soon as that clue because everything every question they will be mentioning you bcc or fcc whatever uh, the particular crystal uh, is packed into you will they will be giving this so once this is given just draw this bcc lattice so this is it there is one uh, the length of the crystal this particular thing which is packed in bcc so let me draw this bcc structure right fine so <coughs> Now they said BCC, so there is one atom. We already know we have atom in the corner as well as there is one atom at the B end BCC also. So join this BCC. If I take, so I am making a diagonal in the center because there is one atom here at the body center. I am making one diagonal. Correct. Yes. Now once I make this diagonal, let me name this as label as A and B. Fine. Now. We very well know we have already calculated in packing efficiency when I join this according to Pythagoras theorem I have found this is root 2a. Remember this. Fine. This is what we did in packing efficiency. Recollect it. So I do the basic data and let us come back and do. So what did they give me? BCC metal the length of the unit cell edge. They have given me edge length. The given data is the data given to me is edge length that is given data is A is equal to 2 352 picometer. Okay. They have given this edge length data. So that is 352 picometer. They were asking me to find out radius. Now what should I find out? I have to find out radius. Right. Now according to the cube or according to the BCC lattice we know one formula. What do we what did we study? Body diagonal, okay. Body diagonal is equal to root 3 into edge length. Please recollect, go through the packing efficiency of BCC. You will have already done this, right? Body diagonal is equal to root 3 into uh, your A. Now, body diagonal, if I say, now this is your body diagonal, isn't it? Now, body diagonal. So, when I go into the body diagonal, how is this, this looking? Body diagonal AB is like this, right? So this is your line, you have one atom here, there is one more here and there is one more, there is one, I should not draw till here, I have this, this one. Right. So, what do I have? R, R, R and R. Or what is the body diagonal now? It is equal to 4R. It is equal to root 3 into A. Already they have given me root A. That is 352 picometer. Please write the units along with that. <coughs> so, now uh, I have to find out R. That is what they have asked me. So, R is equal to root 3 by 4 into 352 picometer. Right, so some of the students have requested me to please give the answers also so that it is easy for you to cross check with the answers. I think so your answer will come up to 152. almost uh, 4 picometer. <coughs> Yeah, be like the decimal after the decimal please check it you will be getting an answer on 152.4 picometer this is the radius of the answer this is the sum so please go through it carefully what did I do as soon as the sum is given to me BCC I do the structure after that after joining all the things I have written the given data after writing the given data I have written the formula right according to the cube I have written the formula after writing the formula now what is body diagonal because this is BCC there are three atoms one one more atom one more atom radius R and R one more radius this also one more radius I have made body diagonal as 4R so I very well know root uh, root 3 into A A is given to me picometer multiplied I got the radius of the answer thank you